Hello everyone, Kayla here and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel. And in this video, we are doing another round of the base study. This time, the base that we were looking at was the As I Am Curling Jelly, not to be confused with some other gels they've had from the same line that have similar names. More on that in the video that I did exclusively just talking about the curling jelly. Put that out a couple of weeks before this one. So if you're not familiar with what the base study is, it is a video in which I take a particular product, use it as a base, as in the first product for my wash and go, and then I top it with other products. Um, and, and then I just take notes on what happened with each of those wash and goes uh, to see which one's the best and which one is the worst. So I wanna make some overall notes about the use of this curling jelly as a base. Number one, it was just really difficult to apply. Y'all, this product comes in a tub but it's a really loose product. So when you're trying to scoop it out of the container, it's going through your fingers. Um, once it gets to a certain level in the container, you're able to kind of like tip it into your palm and then kind of like use your palm to like stop it from flowing out and then quickly get it over to the hair. But honestly, if this is gonna be like your main product that you're using as a base and you're really putting it into your routine, I highly recommend putting this in another container. Either it be one of the squirt top containers like that you find in the travel section, or if it's like you go to TJ Maxx or something and get you a soap pump and put it in there. Or if you have one of those um, Eco Slay uh, pump type bottles, I don't, I just have their jars. Like I, I think I own two of their jars and I think my husband owns one of their jars. So we have three of the Eco Slay jars, but we don't have any of the pump container. But if you have one, maybe consider putting this in there because it was really, really difficult to apply. Now, uh, as far as all the combos, I'm gonna do the worst combo because that's what I do in these videos. But y'all, there really wasn't no misses. Almost everything was a hit, I can honestly say. And pretty much every one of these combos, when it got really old, it just turned into really soft hair. And then whenever I would go to wash my hair after the combos, none of them felt dry. Like my hair didn't feel dusty or dry. If you use something on the previous styling occasion or whatever that wasn't great you will feel it when you go to wash your hair that wasn't the case with this as a base we'll start out with the worst combo big air quotes on the worst because like i said all hits no misses when it came to this base but anyways it was the miss jesse's jelly soft curls it only lasted two days on the third day i put my hair into a puff and it was a beautiful puff and then i washed my hair because i was kind of on this vibe of like I'll just wash my hair as soon as it is not styled anymore. And my husband was like, why did you why did you wash your hair? Your hair looked great. So that's how good that puff was. So yeah, it was the worst, but <laughs> you know. Okay, so here's what the notes were on that one. Hair is defined, soft, fluff, fluff, and has a nice sheen. Got complimented twice while I was out. The shape is really coming through in a puff by day three, and it was a beautiful puff. Um, and then I made a note about my husband and what he said. Um, and as I said, that was only a two day style. So I, I think the reason why I put it here is the worst is because everything else lasted way more days than that one did. Now, the best, the best is a shock and it's a tie for the best wash and go combo with this base. It is a tie between Kinky Curly Curling Custard and Wonder Curl Get Set Hair Jelly. I literally didn't think either one of those were going to do a doggone thing in this combo, but they did. So let me start off with the Kinky Curly. Um, the notes on that one. It First of all, it lasted five days. Hair is defined, not crunchy, shiny, and has buttery product feel. Hair needed to cure in addition to drying. Did well during outdoor dining between crazy raining. Tis the season right now. If you're not familiar, I live in Central Florida. It is hurricane season, so it rains daily. If you may notice the lighting changed in my video, that's because it's dark outside. It was raining and I was waiting for the rain to pass. The rain stopped, but it's still dark outside. So <laughs> it's it tis, tis the season, it's hurricane season, y'all. So all these uh, combos are getting tested against that if I go somewhere and I sit outside. Um, may not be for some because it is heavily scented and provides weight to the hair. So if you have someone who's, if your hair like gets weighed down easily, you might want to leave this one alone. When the front went funny on day six, I just clipped up a small bang portion and kept rocking it. 
and then the wonder curl jelly okay we gonna we gonna talk about something with this one it also lasted five days uh this batch of jelly is different smell is less to my disliking and the product is thicker creamier and clumps the curls better we'll come back to that my hair is defined with good sheen front started to look a little funny on day five overall very similar to the kinky curly combo life lifed and i had to keep wearing it past the style falling so like literally over seven days y'all and it stayed moisturized when i went to wash my hair it was not dry at all and i had to wear that particular combo for days before i was able to wash my hair now i was initially going to do that as the first combo with this base study I went to open up my container of products and I saw there wasn't hardly anything in there. So then I go into the drawer and I see that I didn't have a backup. So I had to order product online. So I'm in the shower, I'm doing this wash and go with the old container and then I run out of the old product and I pick up the new one that I had purchased. I open it and immediately noticed all the things that I just said in the notes that were different. Something about this batch is different and different in a good way. Because I was ready to throw this this product out entirely as far as no longer doing it after the base study. But if there is truly something different with this batch and it's not just this combo making it work, it, it might be staying in the game because y'all it was that different. Now it could vary just from batch to batch or she could have just made a change to the product. I'm not sure. If you guys have some Wonder Curl Get Set Hair Jelly and you've purchased it recently, um, let me know because that definitely threw me for a loop okay now let's get into the rest of the combos and i'll just go th run through my notes on those it doesn't mean they were bad it's just that they weren't like stand out as being like the worst or the best let's start off with the combo that's in my hair right now so i am actually not done with this one so this is jello shot uh by eco slay it may be due to technique but this is the best my hair has looked with jello shot in a long time this combo was significantly elongated in comparison to the others. Wet hair was hanging past bra strap. I don't have the days lasted listed just yet, but today is day five. Um, I put the headband on because I'm just trying to be cute and trying to get a color scheme that kind of matches the As I Am products. <laughs> but yeah, my hair still does have a bit of a cast because it's jello shot. What do you expect? But it's very flexible and my hair doesn't feel dry. It's not dusty. Uh, and so this style is probably going to last all the way until wash day, which is typical of combos that feature Jello Shot. All right, now my other hard hard hold product that I like to use is Frozen. Looks similar to others in terms of shape and volume, but with a little cast. Slightly less shine than other combos, but not dull. Softened within a few days and looks and feels great. Days lasted until wash all the way through to the wash um and then i had one other combo that i tried and that was with the earth tones max jelly there's a lot of jelly going on with these products but this is the max one my hair is soft to fine and has a nice weight to it this is again another one you might want to avoid if you have hair that gets weighed down easily hair beginning to slowly expand and the curls dropping out still feels good wore headband on day five because outfit same thing we got going on here uh, develops crusties as it gets old which I'm beginning to notice is a pattern with earth tones max and the combos that I've been trying and days last that I put four or five maybe I was unsure of what day it was but yeah pretty much every combo except for the Miss Jessie's lasted five days so that's the only reason why it got marked as the worst but other than that the combos were a comboing okay and even separate from a combo the as i am curling jelly is pretty decent on its own it lasted like three days and had a decent wash and go by itself i'm going to go ahead and link that video so you can see what it looks like without being comboed i make videos every week so invite me to your subscriptions page and i will talk to you in the next one